Hey there, welcome back everybody. We're here watching more Kipo in the Age of Wonder Beasts. This is Season 1, Episode 6, Ratland. And, I don't know, I guess we're running into mutant rats, most likely? That seems about right. The, you know, mutant rats, Ratland. Maybe it's like an amusement park. Ah, oh, that'll be even cooler. But yeah, folks, before we start the reaction, I would appreciate if you would like the video, if you did enjoy today's reaction of Keepa, I would much appreciate that. So please consider that. But yeah, enough said. Let's watch. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Oh, you have that hip hop beep kicking in there under the classical music. Oh! Oh my God! What is this? Even faster. Okay. Oh, you sound incredibly unhinged. What is this sequence? Is that Scarlamine? Is this Scarlamine? Finally? They're all humans. I just realized it. Party crashes. How rude. Oh, Scarlet Mane's a, oh, a baboon. Heads. Have you found my new army yet? I didn't know what to expect with Scarlet Mane. Human here. Oh, that? It's a natural fragrance. I made it myself. Literally, from my own pheromones. Wow. Don't worry, just primates. Oh. But I only use it on a certain class of primate. Oh my god! Even a monkey has his standards. <laughs> oh, Scarlamane is a problem. He just learned the can can. <laughs> Scarlamane's terrifying. You remember that telescope that we. <laughs> uh, that's a problem. Mm. Oh no. This, this seems like a very personal thing with Scarlamane. I did not expect Scarlamane to be this. I, it was very interesting that he called the, the humans primates. So I wonder if this is some sort of like personal thing. It have been something more simple. Big enough so he knew I would see it, but only I would know it was a message. Th that intro was wild. That was something. In light years, three he is scary. Two is the length of a parsec. A what sec? Parsec. What <laughs> sec? Unit. That's a bit of a science nerd. Yeah, we're aware. We're aware. It also happens to be my birthday. March 26th. Aw. March 26th. That's my favorite number. And guess what day today is, Mandu? Is it March 26th? <laughs> Laundry day. Whoa. Oh. Kipo, is today... Wait, happy birthday? If you mean, did my dad and I decorate this date in my calendar back home with balloon stickers? Yes. Happy birthday, Kipo. Kipo. First birthday topside. Kipo, the answer is in front of you. Apply yourself. I love when she does imitations. It's really difficult to solve because challenges build character. <laughs> I don't need any more character. Are they just I staring at her? <laughs> yeah. Uh, did she just have a whole yes. conversation with herself? <laughs> okay. Now we're the only ones who know about this clue, and only we can find. Smart. It. You're welcome. Wolf's a freaking genius. I'm looking for. Uh, what is it? Overkill. No, disagree. Yo, let's go. Give the composer all the awards. Maybe that's how far away my people are. Uh, Sometimes Dave and I do old crosswords, and when we get stuck, we put it down and we go away for uh, a while. That's actually that works. Yeah, I do that a lot. If I'm having trouble with something, I take a break, come back, and. 13. That's Nail it. a big deal. I do love birthdays. Aw. When's your birthday? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? The wolves who raised you never once threw you a party? Ugh. Yeah, not the time. You don't talk about that. Sarah subject. Well, guess what, wolf? We're going to be birthday sisters today. <gasps> I'm going to celebrate my first surface birthday. Yay. You're going to celebrate your first birthday. This Yay. Is a great idea. But first, you have to get each other presents. Oh, we're going to have some fun. So much fun. Oh, of course. <laughs> By the way, I like things that are purple and board games. Good luck. Purple and board games. You're stuck with the two mutes? 
<laughs> Great. I feel like Scarlemagne watched uh, Kubrick's Barry Lyndon, and that's how they want to live their lives now. They'll be okay out there because everywhere you go, something's trying to capture you, eat you. He's keeping humans as slaves, and just having them dance and dance and dance. Human scum. Wow. It's best to ignore. There's definitely an anti-human prejudice up here. That's a treasure. All right. It is. I love how Benson has the has that tape player. Mission accomplished. It's my present for you. Ooh. Canned cheese made with 12% real cheese. Ooh. What's the rest of it made of? You know what? Chemicals and made up stuff. Aha. Yes. Look what I found. That's a perfect Boom. gift. Could be a hat, could be a frisbee. Keep on love's fashion. No. Hat. Keep on love's fun. <laughs> oh, frisbee. Dave. Frisbee? It could be a frisbee. Yeah, Worked all right as a frisbee. Look, the auto shop. From now on, this, this right here, is a mute free zone. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, no wolves allowed over here. Oh. I can live with that. Oh boy. It's so. Surrender yeah. humans. Wow. Sometimes on the surface, there's more than what you see on the surface. So I'm wondering if a lot of the the mutes. It should be here any second. When they maybe mutate and remember their lives. And when humans were the, you know, the alphas of the world, you know? Your chariot. Oh, wait. What is... Birthday girl. What? Wait. Who's who's driving? Oh! It's a rat! Look at Benson's face! What? Benson's expression. That's <laughs> killing me. Oh, hell yeah. That's cool. You're French? French for, my name is Amy. Oh, hi, Amy. And bienvenidos a bordo. I'm Brad. And Brad. Welcome it is an amusement park. Excited? Oh, is that the flamingos? Perfect. Bad. Scarlamane flamingos. No, that's a great gift. That wasn't the right gift anyway. No, it was. Greatest gift of all time. For me, we still gotta look for Kiko. That's it. It's just like the one she liked in Cat. Yeah, 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 yeah. The jacket. Since you found it, you can wear it back. But then I'm taking it off of you, mm. one way or another. I love how serious Wolf is taking this. You wouldn't. What you wouldn't think Wolf you? will. Is every mute this want annoying? to do this, but hey, she really wants to get Kipo a nice gift. There goes the coat. I was wondering when that was going to happen. I was I was wondering when he was going to evolve again. You know what I think? I think that girl really doesn't like mutes <laughs> because I am full of uses. How did you even know it was here? Well, when you live up here long enough, you learn a few things. Apparently, the cheese is the calling card. All danger. That all lines up. In Rats. Fact, the rats made this a safe zone. All species welcome. Looks like a real party down there. Ooh. Oh, skunks. Oh, God, no. <sighs> Careful. Up the blush. Is that a mega pug I see? A mega pug? Aw, oh, they have a whole thing. I love it. Don't worry, Amy. I think his bark is worse than his height. I love it. These are some of the what a show. They're great jokes. Shut up. I think I love this ride. I really appreciate this. I see. <laughs> Respect the rules of the park. Uh, wow. Annual pass holders. You can spot <laughs> annual pass holders. It's Disney. You can relax here. Stretch your arms. Enjoy the view. This isn't going to last, is it? I'm worried. I'm glad they can have this little moment. You all right? Oh yeah. boy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Benson's completely oblivious. Either oblivious or it just has no interest. I wanted you to know that not everything on the surface is bad. Oh. There are places where it's okay. Better than okay. That there's hope for Look at the people. colors, That's folks. 
and I didn't want Show's to beautiful. Not naming names, Wolf. Benson is a uh, is a yin to Wolf's yang. I don't know if it's that I'm turning 13, but I feel different right now, and I just feel. Is this like her first crush? Tell you that. Big moment. I think I like you. Oh. Oh. Very. Oh. Oh. Very upfront. I like you too. Really, really like you. You're all kinds of awesome. But. You like me as a friend. Yes. Because. I'm gay. Oh. Oh. <gasps> cool. Oh, I totally misread your signals. <laughs> oh, poor Kipo. Right <laughs> Thank you, though, for just, uh, I don't know. Being, being honest. Yeah. Okay, was, and then okay. being honest, you know, not playing around with her feelings at all. That's really great. Aw. Huh? I love that little moment. Oh, no. Again, I love when I love when these shows have all this representation. I'm all for that. That's fantastic. A lot of the shows I've been watching on my channel, these animated shows. Oh, when I was a kid, you would never saw this on anything I that I used to watch, ever. So I'm loving that they're doing this now. All right, so her mutation kicked in again. What is going on with you, Kipo? Is she gonna turn into like a into like a cheetah? Or something. Are you okay? Hey. Yo, this is wild. I don't know what came over me. Keep all what happened to your arm? My arm? Yeah. What's wrong with my arm? It's all furry. Times goes your age go through change. No, stop. Although that's a pretty big change. I'm not helping, am I? Interesting though. I wonder if that might have something to do with it, actually. <laughs> P-A-R-S-E-C. Parsec. Dave, you're a genius. Oh. I mean. Uh, no. Job. Tell oh, him. Good job. Job. Dave. Tell him. I did not follow a word of that. <laughs> We're done searching. Acknowledge we his genius. Gift. Where's Mondu? Oh, no. Mondu's afraid and no one's following or listening to Mondu's signals. Oh, shit. No. It's like realizing you might be useful causes you not to be useful. <laughs> He's on like a clock. <laughs> you doubt my eyes. Cute. <laughs> I just want this to go away. Yo, is Kipo going to go like full beast mode? Scarlamane wants you both to dance for him. No, we do not want to dance for Scarlamane. We are not here for his entertainment. <laughs> They're the annoying regulars. Nice save. The park will be closing early due to an unforeseen air raid. Better step on it, Brad. <laughs> Before you go, can we ask you to fill out a quick survey yeah. with your experience here at Redland? <laughs> if you could try to forget the whole flamingo rider business, we'd really Oh, that's awesome. Please give us a 10, please. Give us a 10. ten. Stop it, Brad. You're going to make him feel like they have to. <laughs> nice seats. Yes. <laughs> Oh, dude, you know it's going to happen. What's happening? She's going to go full... I don't know, but you saved our lives full beast there, mode. You? I also grew fur. I've never seen anything like that. My dad's a scientist. Maybe he'll know what's happening. He might actually know. We can find him. Keep this to ourselves. Of course. Who we definitely don't want Scarlet Maiden to find out. Epic. What, 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 what animal's the one with the big eyes? You must have imagined it. Wanna move on? Yeah, this I like how it's a little good. flamingo. <laughs> Who is he calling oh me? god, you are very old. Elderly Dave. Oh, oh Dad, buddy. You in here? Uh, excuse me, young man. No, <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me, young man. <gasps> Clue! Clue! What a great birthday what gift. Is it? Also, where are we? Yeah. It's a ram's head. That's Kipo's Aries. birth sign. Kipo, this will help you find the second clover Ooh. of Dad. Someone drew he definitely left the pick, the clover pick. A map, Grandpa. A map. 
on purpose for her to find. Which means Kipo's people have a second burrow. Yes, they do. This is the perfect gift. They're so they're big stakes right now. She can finally head back underground with her mole people and forget we have existed. No. Always remember her. Oh my god, Dave. I don't like that scenario. But I also want her to find her people and be with them. I think he wants to turn them into more of his weird nobles. Yeah. Even my dad? He wants you to dance. That's exactly it. All right, present time. This is supposed to be our birthday. Even despite all of that, she still wants to celebrate the birthdays. Oh, don't withhold it from her. And I'm pretty sure Dave is not going to remember the letter. It's, uh... Aw. Useful. Thanks. <laughs> Come on, Wolf. Give her the letter. Please give it to her. Aw. It's from the jacket I liked. I love it. I mean, that's great, but... I can't believe you didn't give her the note. Wolf doesn't want to lose her first friend here, I guess. Ugh. I can sympathize, but it's not right. You have to give it to her. Aw, Wolf doesn't want to lose her. Ooh. What are you looking at? Mondu's like, yo. Even Mondu's like, that ain't right. <laughs> wow. What an episode. So much happened. Who voiced Scarlamane? Dan, St Dan Stevens? Like, actor Dan Stevens? The one who played, uh, I mean, he's been in a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think. Of course, I can't think of anything he's been in. I knew he was in the movie The Guest. Uh... He played the Beast in Beauty and the Beast. Is that that Dan Stevens? Uh, because if so, ooh, what a voice for Scarlamane. So yeah, first things first, Scarlamane. Wow, Scarlamane is terrifying. The fact that it just seems like he wants, he wants humans to just <laughs> create this like little fantasy where everyone like let's say create to be one of his nobles, right? And that's all you saw was just them dancing and dancing and dancing. And so I wonder if this is more of a, like, you know, again, like I was saying in terms of like evolution, you know, obviously, you know, with evolution, we evolved from, you know, primates and whatnot. And I wonder if this is just kind of once the these mutations happened to all these animals, I wonder if they have memories of maybe perhaps how they may have been treated at one point. Maybe Scarlet Lane was mistreated by humans uh, in his life at some point or another. Uh, and now is exacting some sort of revenge or whatnot. I'm not exactly sure, obviously. I don't have enough info there. But but that scene in general, just like him just playing the piano and just telling him to dance faster. And, and oh, that, that was like, that was terrifying. <laughs> That's scary. And just like, just the the way he was acting, so unhinged, like very just it came off very like psychotic. And wow, I mean, this is a villain. We've only had one scene, and I'm already scared. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to see more what Scarlamane is all about. Uh, but man. And then I love the whole notion of just Kipo, despite everything that's going on, the just the the dire situation they're in, they, you know, we should celebrate our birthdays, you know, and wanting Wolf to have that experience as well is incredibly sweet and to go find birthday gifts for each other and whatnot. Um, and then, you know, the, you know, Benson and Keepa going off and Rat, oh, Ratland was awesome. I love how they built this place where everyone is welcomed. I love that. Very inclusive. It's, ah, uh, that's just a wonderful thing. Doesn't matter who you are. Everyone's welcomed here, whether you're human or mute or whatever, right? And then I, I was wondering if this show was going to introduce some sort of romantic angle to it or not. Uh, I wasn't sure if they were. I was like thinking about it like one time after I watched the I forget what episode it was, and I'm like, I don't know if it, that if this show necessarily needs something like that. And I and I do like that. 
Kipo essentially looked like she was having her first crush, but I love the fact that Benson's like, you know, told her right off the bat, you know, 100% honest, didn't lead her on or whatever. He's like, no, I'm gay. So, but you're an incredible person. I don't want, you know, I want to be your friend. And I love that. Again, I like I was saying earlier, I love that a lot of these anime shows I've been watching, you know, things like Amphibia, Owl House, for example. Uh, growing up, you know, I'm I'm entering my late 30s and growing up, I, you know, I grew up watching a ton of animated television and n- most shows I watch, if not all of them, wouldn't have ever dared to have this sort of rep- representation. Uh, you just did not see it. Uh, at least the ones I've watched. I've never seen this before. So for a lot of these shows now, you know, to do this is an incredible thing. I love it. I, I really do. I, I It's, you know, everyone deserves to have something to relate to. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad that, you know, they do this in these shows and like I said, present this representation. It's fantastic. Absolutely love it. But so I'm glad, you know, this is another one that, you know, goes in that, you know, does that. But, uh, but the big moment, right, in this episode is Wolf well, finding the finding the next clue, the note, to try to get Kipo to find this second burrow where they're hiding out. And old man Dave going oh she's gonna find her people and we're gonna she's gonna forget about us and we're never gonna see her again and yeah i understand that's a huge fear of wolf of wolves uh this is the first it seems like this is the first person that wolf has ever really let in right wolf is very much a lone wolf and the fact that wolf doesn't want to lose kipo i can sympathize with that right but you got to do right by her and you need to give her this note. I mean, Mondu is essentially yelling, growling at her, but you can't withhold this information from her. Uh, you have to, she wants to find her dad and you have to give her the choice. Uh, you can't take that choice away from her. So I hope Wolf comes to their senses and gives her that note. But again, I sympathize. I really do. She, I feel like Wolf finally has found somebody and doesn't, the idea of losing them is probably incredibly hurtful, but it's not the right thing to do. So hopefully she does it. And but the longer she holds on to it and the longer keeps it from Kipo, the second Kipo finds out, it's not going to be pretty. Uh, it's each day is more and more a breach of trust. So hopefully that. Oh. I, I'm, I'm not looking forward to that moment already, <laughs> but she got a pretty sweet uh, sleeve from that jacket, though. So that's something. I love her little flower gift for Wolf. That was also nice. And then Dave's obviously back to being a little baby again. That's got to be kind of annoying <laughs> going through all those stages of life so rapidly and then just going back to the beginning. Oh, my God. No, but uh, folks, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, uh, again, if you enjoyed today's reaction, please consider giving the video a big old like. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, and let me know in the comments, Scarlamade, initial thoughts after that scene, how you felt about this villain of the show. Um, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, but I would love to hear your thoughts on that as well. Uh, and folks, I also have a Patreon for this for this channel. Uh, if you like full length reactions, unedited, uncut, uh, you can get those on my Patreon. It's a five dollar a month tier. Uh, they're always early access. They're always up before the YouTube edits. And uh, if that's something you're more interested in, you don't have to deal with any edits or whatever. If you want to watch along, uh, you can do that on my Patreon. Uh, time code will be there to uh, sync up with uh, your copy. You have to have your own copy to watch along with. I cannot supply that to you. Uh, for legal reasons but yeah something to consider you can find a link for that in the description below or in the pinned comment if you want to check out the patreon page uh but folks that's all i got for you today i'll see you for episode seven have a good one bye